Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I'm the hostess, Li Qin. After four years and for this green health development and to boost the carbon neutrality goal, and to bring the new opportunities under the context of the COVID-19 pandemic. And we are gathering through the cloud to participate this uh, BARC 2022 and to talk about the uh, perspective for this industry. For this forum on development and medium and small size bamboo shoes industry is a hold by or the bamboo branch of China Society of Forest, and also for the uh, Research Institute and Subtropical uh, Forestry and CF and the NGFU, and also for the other cooperative um, organizations to organize. And based on the trend for this, the bamboo and rectum industry, and uh, to develop the, the high quality uh, utilization of the, the bamboo shoes and for the multiple and the high uh, level utilization of the bamboo shoes. And we will have the discussion in this uh, regarding how can we have uh, developed a new path for the medium and small size the bamboo shoes industry going forward provide the support for the rural and uh, the stakeholders. And we have five experts for this session. We have uh, Mr. Chen Shuanglin and uh, Mr. Wu Liangru, Professor Lin Xinchun, and Mr. Li Bin, and uh, Mr. Ye Xiaoping. Now, let's welcome the CAF researcher, Mr. Chen Shuanglin, his topic is uh, uh, carbon and nitrogen limitation mechanism of bamboo yield formation. Ms. Chen is the chief uh, expert for the CAF, also for the uh, members uh, for the China's the bamboo uh, industry, uh, the association. The National uh, Standard Committee of uh, Bamboo Erectants. And he, for a long time, on working in the field of the bamboo and erectants, achieved numerous uh, awards from the Ministerial minute, minute, and the national provincial level. Now let's welcome Mr. Chen Shuanglin. Dear friends, good afternoon. I would like to share all project teams for recent years in terms of this uh, carbon and nitrogen limiting mechanism in the bamboo industry. First of all, so we talk about this, uh, the transportation for this nitrogen and uh, the carbon. And uh, we will talk about the nitrogen shape and also for the proportion to the early bamboo shoots and also for the different the uh, bamboo shoots, we're gonna have uh, for this the uh, uh, the ratio is will have the very important the influence the um the increased for this early uh, bamboo uh, shoots and NR and GIS activity. And also, we also have the research on the uh, 
nitrogen and uh, the uh, carbons, and also for the leaves, and also for the very thin root, which have more sensitive sensitivity, uh, sensitive response for the uh, nitrogen nutrition, and that will really help the uh, early bamboo shoots in growth. And also for those uh, the uh, the uh, felfus and also the nitrogen impact on this way, with the covers years increasing, and which means for the for the nitro miner and the will impact on the degradation of this soil. And also for the nitro mines and to cover this uh, early bamboo shoots to help this uh, the ab absorb the utilization for these nitrogen uh, factors elements. And uh, also for the early bamboo shoots, for the different kind of the concentration of the nitrogen elements with the different uh, the effect. For we have the, the consolidation for the cologne for the nitrogen elements, which in uh, very obviously are um, effect by age of the plants. If the concentration of the nitrogen is too much or the processing time is too long, will impact this uh, transport capability. Our experience for this uh, early bamboo shoots for the nitrogen elements clone with the very obviously uh, separate plants, the uh, ratio. And uh, for the supply suppliers and for this number of these uh, plants, and too much for this early uh, bamboo shoots clone system, will have the higher utilization rate. For the early bamboo shoots uh, clone system, for the separate plants, and and also for the processing time, will have the interaction by the distance and the processing time for the separating plants. So based on all those questions, uh, the uh, facts, we raised the, the three questions. One is for the uh, nitrogen elements impact on the quality of the bamboo shoots and also for the nitrogens and for this uh, the sprouts of the, this, the uh, bamboos. And uh, second is uh, for or limitation on carbon. We use the, the example during or the cultivate the sprouts. For the two side more, and in the middle, there's the last of the plants, spots. For those, the side spawns um, during the spot, the growth on the side growth was a different, the lungs and of the whip. We have the, the three uh, Regulate the uh, regulations. One is three cm, and two is six cm. The third is nine cm. So we see from the uh, two side, we grow faster than in the middle. And also for this, uh, the spawns on uh, grow have no impact on the new bamboo uh, spots uh, growing. 
we also raise the question is for this uh, the uh, nutrition improve we have the for this uh, the preferred mechanism research and one is uh, for the one years uh, the bamboo with 5 mm for the diameters the length is the 6 cm and we take the examples from the three uh, stages from the bamboo so we see in from the near or far end for the GA content is show significantly different. So we also see for some uh, cells, cells and the from the far side is uh, higher than in the middle end, and also for the NP uh, contents is uh, higher than the middle end. So that is because of this, uh, the integral, the uh, hormone and the nutrition, the co-working uh, on this. For, <coughs> for this regarding, we have uh, this uh, research on the uh, carbon uh, restrictions effect. We have uh, some testing on the mother rhizomes. And we use this for the transport. And that is for this, uh, uh, with the very short, the uh, rhizomes. And that actually compared to the side spawns, we can find a certain levels, the rhizomes. And also for those, the longer the uh, rhizomes, so we have this uh, conclusion is for this uh, shorter, the shorter rhizomes and can process the, the carbon sufficiently. But the longer the rhizomes for the processing uh, carbon supply is uh, still being limited. So the, which it proved for the side pro spawns and driven by the um, the rhizomes, carbon and elements. So for that, we added uh, more uh, the uh, lighting and also for the structure, nutrition. How can we increase the, this uh, um, photo, uh, synthesis for the number for the uh, hormone and bring the more carbon uh, into this transport the uh, the rhizomes from our research we cut some this uh, the side of this rhizome that can in some degree to improve uh, they already applied in some area like in Li Shui City. So that's our recent years research and to share with you. Thank you so much. So that's from the uh, sharing from Mr. Chen Shuanglin. And it's uh, based on this, the uh, bamboo shoes, the uh, clone system through the uh, a limit for the nutrition, a nitrogen, and the carbon as the uh, example. Thank you very much, Mr. Chen Shangling. The next speaker is Mr. Wu Liangru, 
the researcher of China National Bamboo Center of NFGA. His topic today is strategies and suggestions for processing and utilizing medium and small diameter bamboo shoots. And uh, he's the director of the uh, bamboo uh resources management and he, he is also the president of the uh Tian o branch of uh, the uh China National Bamboo Research Center and uh, the uh deputy secretary general of the uh, uh bamboo branch of Chinese Society of uh, Forestry and uh, also he is a member of the uh, Zhejiang standardization organization for years he has been involving in the uh, bamboo shoot breeding and uh, the uh, swell uh, say breeding and now welcome mr wu the floor is yours please Mr. Wu, you are muted. Distinguished experts, dear colleagues, dear entrepreneurs, good afternoon. My topic today is the strategies and suggestions for processing and utilizing medium and small diameter bamboo shoot. And I will cover five aspects. The first one is uh, the uh, property of bamboo shoot. And uh, bamboo shoot is rich in nutrients. And uh, you can see here the photo of a bamboo shoot after freezing. And actually, you can see the white core part is the uh, concentrate of uh, protein. And uh, the second picture is the uh, fresh milk. And uh, usually, we know that fresh milk is rich in protein. But the uh, fresh milk uh, is uh, has about uh, uh, 3.2 uh, gram of uh, protein. And here, actually, I made a comparison of the uh, main nutrients between the uh, bamboo shoot and the milk. So you can see here, uh, of course, moisture is the main content of uh, bamboo shoot, but each 100 gram of uh, bamboo shoot, 3.39 and 3.78 grams are protein. And uh, the fat is about 0.29 and 0.48. So actually, according to the national standard, and uh, usually the uh, uh, 2.95 and 2.8 uh, is the uh, supposed protein content of a fresh. So actually, we can see and the bamboo shoot has almost equal uh, say quantity of uh, the uh, protein as the milk. And uh, also the uh, fat content in bamboo shoot is lower than that in milk. So in this way, you can see actually bamboo shoot is uh, a very good choice for the weight losers. And uh, it is a very good natural food which is high in protein, low in fat, high in crude fiber, and low in sugar. And uh, in the Ben Cao Gang Mu, the Chinese medicine encyclopedia, it says that the bamboo shoot tastes sweet, 
is free from any toxicity and toxicity and also it is good for urinating and uh, we could build our immunity and uh, also resist the aging by eating bamboo shoots and in the animal experiment we can see actually the uh, bamboo fiber could reduce the uh, fat content in their blood I think the speaker lost the uh, internet connection. are some relevant researches and papers published and that is the uh, uh, dietary fibers benefit to weight losing and also we are uh, produce uh, experimented the uh, bamboo feed with bamboo shoot content actually bamboo shoot powder can prevent from uh, weight gaining. And uh, this is the uh, restring, restrictive function of uh, bamboo shoot to cancer cells. And uh, actually, this is the uh, first class quality vegetable in China. And uh, as we know, actually, Japanese like bamboo shoot very much. They integrated bamboo shoot into their dietary culture. And uh, actually the uh, development of the green and healthy ingredient is the uh, choice of the uh, big health development. And uh, the uh, domestic and uh, overseas demand will increase by 20% year on year. Second, I would like to uh, introduce the uh, development of the uh, modern bamboo shoot processing and utilization in China. And the first and uh, is the uh, traditional utilization stage before 1980. And usually we sell fresh shoot, uh, dried shoot, and uh, the uh, preserved shoot. And then the uh, second phase is uh, from uh, 1980 to 2008, we introduced the Japanese process to cook bamboo shoot and which accelerated the uh, bamboo shoot processing industry. So actually the uh, 
water preserved bamboo shoot is produced by some medium and large scale companies and all these processes actually inherited this processing technology and uh, this is a mature process diagram and so in this picture so you could see how the bamboo shoots are cooked and sterilized and then canned and in the third phase that is the uh, fine processing stage, which started in 2008. And uh, why we are uh, defining the uh, 2008 as the starting year of uh, fine processing? Because the central government supported a project during the 11th five-year National Scientific and Technological Supporting Program. And this program was led by me We want to make use of the uh, bamboo shoot leaves and uh, the case. And uh, next I'm going to introduce the uh, development trend of the bamboo shoot industry. There are two major trends because we need to address the uh, nutrient and uh, the uh, pharmacological theory of bamboo shoot. We know that Guangzhou people eat everything but not bamboo shoot. And uh, the uh, Japanese are famous for the uh, longevity. And uh, of course, the uh, people in the Yangtze River Delta live the longest, have the longest longevity in China, but they like bamboo shoot and uh, the uh, Japanese like shoot as well. So actually we need to analyze the uh, bamboo shoot from the medicinal perspective so that we could do a better job in creating and promoting bamboo shoot products. And uh, this is uh, Madam Zhao Yufen, the Academician of CAS. She is majoring in life science. We worked with her to extract some uh, uh, the uh, meat body for medicinal use. And uh, these are the uh, pictures showing the cooperation and exchanges with uh, the uh, Dutch University and the Italian company, as well as the uh, South Western University. And uh, actually our aim is to uh, develop bamboo shoot as a food, to, to make full use of its function and make it an international food. And usually we know the uh, bamboo shoots consist of uh, three parts, the top part and uh, the uh, case part, and then the uh, core part. And also how to do this, uh, you utilize the, the shell of this, uh the bamboo. And the other one is uh, how can we extract from the uh, bamboo for those chemical um, elements and to give more uh, play on those elements like uh, those the uh, polysaccharide and uh, how can we uh, further develop those um, elements. In for all these areas, and we mainly have made this progress is for those the uh, the frozen the bamboo and also for the processing uh, technologies, and we trying to use the for the liquid 
and and no no and also liquid nitrogen and freon and to freeze like we freeze those the seafood and to package and for put into the transportation so when reached to our consumers still can maintain the good uh taste and this is in Fujian Jian O. We have this uh, the uh, the uh, liquid amino and also the liquid uh, need the uh, nitrogen uh, to for the fresh and maintaining production. We also have this uh, the uh, quickly uh, frozen production line in Chongqing Nanquan. And Guizhou Tongzi. And second is uh, we achieved the bamboo shoots for the full uh, nutritious powder, the technologies. We thought about how can we make this like the uh, soil bean powders or milk powders formulas and to make this uh, the bamboo shoots to very quickly and in mass production make this uh, the nutritious powder how can we make this um the original char characters of the bamboo shoes and still can maintain the good taste so we achieved this uh, uh, patent in china we also applied the uh, uh, dutch uh, patent in their market and this is for this uh, bamboo shoes powder production line. From the uh, the bamboo shoes put on the production line to the end product, this will take an hour, no more than an hour. And then we have some extract for from uh, bamboo shoes for the proteins, and we can have the, those uh, the uh, polysaccharide and. Uh, we already achieved uh, for Australian patent authorizations. And this is uh, for the super uh, filtering for this uh, concentrated uh, solutions for the uh, bamboo shoes. And also all shoes, bamboo shoes uh, concentration, actually there's no uh, funny uh, taste, no grass taste. So this is a very quality proteins we extracted from the bamboo shoes. Fourth is for the uh, bamboo shoes sauce products. We take the uh, bamboo shoes powder or concentrate uh, the uh, liquid or for the dietary fiber proteins and also for the polysaccharide and to add the raw material or additive to develop some the uh, stables like uh, noodles or steam bands, etc. This we made this uh, uh, bamboo shoes noodles and also for some the uh, uh, noodles in Jiangxi, and also for some soil bean and for the bamboo shoes bean sauce, and the first and some. Uh, challenges and opportunities for this uh, the medium and small bamboo shoes but still depends on some large scales the uh, raw materials for example like uh, the some uh, mosso bamboo or also some the uh, sano calamus and the latte floss and which account 90%. We actually have a, a sufficient medium and small size, the uh, bamboo shoes um, with the uh, full seasons production, like early bamboo shoes or square shoes or, and, and also Sano Calamus and uh, old Hemi, this kind of thing. How can we uh, utilize this kind of uh, bamboo shoes and uh, that is our opportunity and a challenge. The second is for the pricing for this uh, 
the uh, more so bamboo's the pricing is still maintained uh, that level for years. Thirdly, for the medium small uh, bamboo shoes process processing industry, and um, seriously lag behind. And uh, how can we develop uh, the high added value products, diversified products? And fourthly, and uh, for this nutrition and medicine, the principles is not uh, distinguished, distinguished and separate. Fifth is uh, the suggestions and the solutions. And I have some of uh, the uh, suggestions. And uh, we hope this medium small bamboo shoes industry will have a unified plan, have a differentiated positioning with the local characteristic and also with the four uh, seasons. We should learn from the uh, Zhejiang province. They have their own characteristic. And so we have this uh, suggestions is how can we, or the uh, forest, uh, the uh, academia, the uh, society will um, have a unified planning. Second is for the positioning. How can we make a, a, a differentiated positioning by regions? You have different kind of products based on your local, the uh, characteristic combined with uh, economic uh, elements or tourism, um, make it a mass of uh, the uh, production, include or early bamboo shoes. How can we make this a bigger uh, business first? And we, how can we provide the, these products uh, in a consistent way by four seasons. Because we, China can provide the bamboo shoes can cover all four seasons. So for the all four seasons, there's so many provinces and cities can provide the different kind of the bamboo shoes in those four seasons. And even down to the uh, city to county level. In that regard, we can give a full play on the bamboo industry. Fourth is um, for the northwest and uh, small and medium bamboo shoes industry actually develop very well. How can we? Um, have a synergy with uh, Southeast region because Southeast uh, take the, those, the uh, most of bamboo or some bam the uh, uh, early bamboo shoots as the main the raw materials with advanced uh, processing technology, rather developed the, the industry. And for the Southeast, uh, they have sufficient resources and but with the uh, technology lag behind. So we can enhance the interaction for these two regions and to realize the synergy development. And uh, fourth, uh, fifth, and we can have some the uh, scientific endorsement for this uh, bamboo shoes. Thus, we can really develop uh, our products well and also for screening the uh, main bamboos I to build this, uh, the uh, property uh, resources uh, libraries. Uh, thanks, that's from my presentation. Uh, thanks, Mr. Wu. Mr. Wu Liang Ru, I have an analysis on the China's uh, the medium and small uh, bamboo shoes state uh, call raise the what is the next uh, the uh, step and the roadmap for the medium and small uh, bamboo shoes. Thank you. 
Next day is from uh, Professor Lin Xinchun. His topic is about the advance in bamboo breeding science. Mr. Lin Xinchun is a professor of uh, Bamboo Research Institute of uh, Zhejiang ANF University. And also for the sustaining members of the China's uh, the uh, Society of the uh, Forest. And in the long term, they engaged on the uh, teaching and research in this area, achieved numerous uh, three uh, awarding for the min min minister level and also for the uh, provincial level and also have authorized the nine patents from nationwide. Welcome. Good afternoon. I'm very delighted to have this opportunity to share our team research. I'm from Zhejiang ANF University. Uh, my topic is research progress in bamboo breeding. You see for the bamboo breeding is um, we need to uh, collect uh, those the uh, breedings and to select uh, those uh, right uh, breed the uh, the source and we build a rare uh, bamboo uh, garden which covered over 200 kind of bamboos so we uh, selected uh, the several kind uh, of this uh, the bamboo as our research uh, the topic so you mentioned in Zhejiang for the uh, the early uh, bamboo shoes is actually is a very good resources for the lay bamboo. And uh, we collected for those lay bamboo uh, from inside outside China. And that is a most of varieties uh, we plant. And also we uh, have the the amendment um got the bioluctance as the uh lay bamboo. We also uh have the, the different kind of uh, the areas, like for some you see the leaves with some the uh patterns. We also have uh, some uh, the named of this different uh, the uh, the categories for this uh, the uh, curved uh, the uh, lay bamboo used uh, further breeding and. Uh, you see for this uh, the pleo uh, blastators and that you see we choose the, the uh, rather white the uh, leaves as the, the new uh, uh, mutation the leaves the other is a cross uh, breeding this is a very hard work because for the bamboos a uh, blossom is with a rather long period so do the cross breeding is really difficult. So in recent years, our team do some work on this, uh, the crossing. We need to find the flourished, the flowered, the uh, bamboo. 
And Lei bamboo is very popular and well on widespread in Zhejiang. And uh, usually in the bamboo forest, you can find the flowered bamboo. So the rhizome of the flowered bamboo after being replanted will flower again. And usually the rhizome of the bamboo which will flower and which will now the flower after being buried. Actually, the cross breeding of both could reach more than 50% of the flowering rate. And uh, actually, the flowering rate of uh, the uh, bamboo 20 centimeter and 40 centimeter. And uh, I mean, the higher the bamboo is and the uh, higher the flowering rate is compared with the 20 centimeter di diagram bamboo. All is the flowering bamboo compared with the uh, bamboo for which we bury the rhizome, we found that the There is no big difference between the two. And uh, that is to say it can be used for the cross braiding. And uh, another difficulty in cross braiding is that we need to obtain the, uh, we, we need the uh, different species of flower at the same time. So in recent years, we found that in Guangxi province, the uh, bamboo forests are flowering and we transported the uh, flowered bamboo seed to Guangxi and in order to get the uh, crossbred seed of bamboo. And the uh, should and after planting, we can see that the uh, shoot emergence period and the short morphology of the suspected suspected offspring are between the male partner and the female, the male parent and the female parent. This is also supported by SSR analysis. And uh, so we can see about 15% of uh, the uh, Shoot emergence period is in February. So we can see same as the uh, lay bamboo. So we can see here the uh, difference of the uh, skin of uh, the uh, lay bamboo shoot and the uh, muscle bamboo shoot. So in terms of shape, we can see the uh, crossbred species is uh, between the mussel and lay bamboo. And also we can see the parent uh, usually inherited the uh, genes of the uh, parent, the uh, father or mother species. On this basis, we compared with the uh, self bred offspring and found the total amount of shoes, the number and uh, ground diameters of adult bamboos of hybrid seedlings in the second year increased significantly. But in the first year, there is no big difference. But in the second year, in terms of the uh, width, the length, there is no big difference. But from the second year on, we can see a very significant differences and the experiment is ongoing and we still need more evidence to support the uh, conclusion. And also we developed the SSR marker, uh, marker method in order to identify and select in early stage of the uh, crossbred species. Bamboo is believed to be self-bred, but in the field, we also find some bees to pollinate the bamboo. And uh, from this perspective, we can see bamboo mainly self-bred, but sometimes it is not absolute. And in the 
mutation breeding, we also done some, uh, we also have done some uh, researches. We know the coastal line in China is very long and they are, uh, say, acid and alkali, those are white. So we process the uh, uh, say the uh, Bambasa art honey by tissue cultivation and then retransplant them into uh, another place. And this, uh, and uh, in Hanjiahu, people like bamboo shoot very much. But mainly the species in this area are the uh, simple dual bamboo, which only produce bamboo in March and uh, May. So in early in summer, we have to uh, select the uh, bamboo shoot of mussel, mussel bamboo shoot. But I would say the edible part of uh, mussel bamboo shoot is really limited and uh, So I can, we can see here, there is a bambusa autami is a very good species. In Zhejiang, it mainly grows in Changyang and Pinglang. And uh, usually, Below four degrees Celsius, it uh, will be uh, frost damaged, and the tissue cultivated seedlings are transplanted on the campus by me. Most of them, most most of them were frozen to death. From uh, twenty eighteen, we started to plant the bamboo in the field. And the lowest temperature in the year was uh, minus 16 degrees Celsius, but the uh, species was not frost damaged. So finally, we found the species can be introduced to Hanjiahu area so that if the harvest is, if the uh, growth is possible there, we could meet the people's demand for bamboo shoot in summer. And uh, this is the uh, polyploid breeding. So we can see here, the uh, data are shown uh, in a different method of for different method of treatment, and uh, you can see the comparison of uh, uh, tetraploid induction rate and hypocortial swollen rate and the survival rate. They are different data. So here you can see the uh, stomatal guard cell comparison of uh, the uh, different treatment so that we could find the uh, suitable, the most suitable species for a certain area. And in the transgenic breeding, we created a regeneration system and realized the transgenic method. And uh, here we successfully conducted an experiment. So you can see here the leaves, which is supposed to be green after the uh, transgenetic practice is turned into brownish. So you can see this is a very 
distinct comparison, and we got a patent certificate with this research result. And uh, here you can see the uh, calm of uh, the uh, Anso canning's in comes in the leaves of the transgenic plants. And we hope by this transgenic method, we could get better species with higher resistance and better tolerance. And this is herbaceous bamboo flowers and uh, bears fruit every year. And uh, they are uh, circular the uh, construction of genetic transformation system of herbaceous bamboo is helpful for continuous observation of transgenic bamboo plants for many generations. We need to observe the, uh, her, the uh, bamboo for consecutive years, but the herbaceous bamboo could flower and bear fruit every year. And now we are doing some transgenic experiment. If it turns out to be successful, we could observe the several generations of the uh, uh, properties of uh, bamboo. And uh, this is the uh, tissue culture and the industrialized seedling cultivation. And also we uh, obtained the uh, patents for the flowering of bamboo. All these experiments and researches are done by our team together with uh, several professors. So this is my presentation. Thank you very much for the listening. Thank you, Professor Lin. And uh, he covers the uh, cross-breeding and transgenic breeding etc and uh, by which he told us the uh, progresses in his research and also he shared with us his uh, research results thank you very much the next speaker is uh, Li Bing the senior engineer and the deputy director of Bamboo Research Institute Chongqing Academy of Forestry he mainly focuses on the bamboo shoot, bamboo forest management and utilization. He has won three prizes and four patents and four practical patents. He published more than 20 papers and obtained three prizes in scientific and technological progress and the district level prize as well. And uh, next, let's invite Mr. Li Bing to present the advances in bamboo uh, in the uh, Southwest native bamboo species resources for bamboo shoes and their development and utilization. Mr. Li, the floor is yours. You are muted. Apologize for my camera. Dear colleagues and friends, good afternoon. Honestly, uh, I'm actually uh, quite tentative. Um, as for myself, for or Chongqing's uh, the bamboo industry compared to the other like uh, provinces, Yunnan, Sichuan, so we're not right on the right position. But I would like to uh, give a try. Um, so, 
my my preparation is not uh, sufficient enough. Please just uh, uh, forgive my uh, insufficient preparation. And Mr. Lee just mentioned from the south west uh, the rural uh, bamboo uh, industry. I will cover four areas. One is all state call for the south west uh, the bamboo resources. We talk, we talk about Southwest is Yunnan, Guizhou, Sichuan, and Chongqing. And with 40 million the, uh, hectares. And uh, for the Guizhou is 5 million more, or Chongqing is 5 million more. So in Sichuan, those uh, Bamboo resources covered over 129 counties with Hejiang, Na, Ximu, Chuan, Changning, Tianquan, five counties, over the 500,000 mu. Yunnan, uh, uh, allocated in Zhao Tong, Lin Chang, Honghe, Huar, Baoshan cities, the most uh, in Zhao Tong city. In Guizhou, mainly allocated in Chishui, Tongzi, uh, etc., 20 plus counties, especially in Chishui, in with uh, 1.3 million more Tongzi, the square bamboo areas is beyond 1 million more. Chongqing, mainly in Liangping, Nanchuan, Rongchang, Hechuan, Dazu, Yongchuan, Tongliang, Fuling, uh, Tongnan, Wansheng, Beifan, uh, 34 counties. That is uh, the state of call. We also have the, for the Baijiang, some the minority, the uh, bamboos. Here is uh, in Guizhou, Chishui. For this uh, bamboo forest with a very large scale, for or kind, the bamboo is a square bamboo, like a square bamboo, and uh, also for the Buddha, golden Buddha bamboo, Hejiang, and also for those, uh, the, uh, Velostakis and Bisati, and also with uh, the Mosso bamboo. This is uh, for this uh, golden Buddha, the uh, square square bamboo in Sichuan, Hongzi County. And uh, for this county, actually, bamboo is the main industry. Recently, like Zheng An County, we see for their square bamboos areas is quite big. For Chongqing, is when Liangqing. And for this uh, flat bamboos in the Wulong, for those black uh, bamboo, it's uh, mainly in um, Sichuan, Leshan, and Qingzhou, located in Yunnan, Zhao Tong. This is a uh, dragon bamboo in Yunnan. It's also very uh, big, uh, the uh, range. For this planting, for southwest region, the bamboo resources, uh, because the region's characters, the geo, um, the region, the geo characters with the platinum with the uh, hills, so. The bamboo shoots and bamboo forest is actually allocated in the 
near the water, near the house, or near the land. Especially for those southern, uh, Sichuan, we call the the bamboo sea, which is uh, very beautiful. It's really like a a natural. There's the、uh, shade made by the bamboo forests, and also for the、uh, the rural bamboos with lots of、uh, varieties. We have the the、uh, square bamboos, and also for some the、uh, black bamboo, and also with for those. Thorny bamboo shoes, and also for the graminin and light floors, and all these kind of floors, be and、uh, planted by themselves and eating for and the edible, a small amount will put on the market to sell. And that is very ah、uh, indigenous and、uh, the voluntarily ah、uh, to ah.、Uh, Harvest and use the very、uh, local way to process. This is for the Jinfushan Square、uh, bamboos. That's when the shooting out is there's、uh, lots of farmers picking up. You see, for the mountain areas, and、uh, there is some uh, a challenge on labor's、uh, source during the shooting, during the harvesting、uh, season for the bamboos. So we should organize the some the labors once the shooting season started. This is some、uh, the completed products. For the、uh, bamboo shoes, that is、uh, also the tuning is a very good process. The the matrix with、uh, over a hundred million RMB for their gross mark for their、uh, the revenues, and we also can make this to、uh, the. Bamboo fiber powder or chips. This is another enterprise for Tan Tan Xiang Company. They made this square, uh, bamboo shoes. And also we have the Three Gorge, uh, bamboo shoes. Their total revenue is like forty million per year. For this company, in the past, they made some the uh, uh, instant uh, the uh, the uh, quick food, but for this company, actually have a good the、uh, operations business operations due to uh the pande pandemic, the、uh, period. This is、uh, happening in Yunnan. This is for market. For this uh, gramine, uh, the lati floors shoots. So I will talk about some existing questions, existing issues. First of all, it's a lacking of the unified、uh, planning, and. Need needed to give a、uh, you know the initial, uh, the visible visible uh research and planning, which means and that will leading the industry with a very random or bland uh development, couldn't reach the and、uh, the expectations. Second is infrastructure is thin, and the utilizations of the resources is quite low. And for the south east region, they are all located in、uh, hills or mountain regions, so the transportation is not convenient. 
So the labor cost is high. I make the comparison for Sichuan. And every kilo, uh, the uh, bamboo shoes compared to these others. And we actually are quite low than the peers. So we cannot uh, give a uh, take advantages of this or the resources because of this insufficient uh, infrastructure or management. And certainly for this very coarse uh, the breeding and cultivations, and uh, we are lacking of the sense and technology support. We just really uh, have to, you know, to just uh, get what we got by the uh, nature. So that occurred, we're lacking of those, the uh, cultivation for the uh, more uh, varieties and um, more uh, R&D on the processing products. And uh, the sense and te technology uh, support the industry going forward is not enough, which occurred. There is not a give a uh, the uh, should the uh, have the, those the uh, value economically, and also because of it in the input is not enough, so we lack we're lacking of the uh, convergence with the other the uh, industries. So that is we input low per a unit and uh, lacking of the capital, which uh, still staying very low level for this uh, industry development. For next uh, step, what we do is uh, first of all, we should and uh, take a good um, top layer planning and have a uh, orchestra from the uh, scientifically make this planning combined the real situation based on our real situation by every uh, region, every county. And second, we should uh, give a uh, infrastructures construction to cultivate a good um, bamboo forest resources. And nowadays we're quite tight on the labor supply. So infrastructures construction is really a uh, mitis. And we can convert this to a industry advantages to promote the bamboo industry in a high quality development. Certainly, we should enhance the, the sense and technology supporting and innovative R&D and to develop the, the characteristic high efficient and the new variety, new technology, and also to explore the new technology and to enroll out these new technologies. We have to so, uh, take on or the mountain area, the R and D, to reduce the cost and with our own characteristic, and to increase the or efficient or profitability, and to enhance the all society to participate in bamboo industry development and to participate in this industry to promote the bamboo industry combined with the cultural education and tourism recreation in a one to expand our industry or chain, increase the added value and continue to enhance the, our industry uh, development capability. So in Fujian, they did a very good job in rural, uh, the bamboo industry development, promote those rurals, uh, build and constructed together and share together.
how the new villages and old villages could supplement each other to revitalize the econom economy in countryside. So we uh, issue the residential certificate for the new villages, the migrant, the immigrant villages. And uh, so we also provide the uh, chairs and the uh, uh, for the uh, new villagers and to be uh, promoted to the uh, country leaders so that we could create a new and advanced com rural community. And uh, a small village in Pingnan area has only over 10 residents, but after the innovative development, we introduced new villagers there. And uh, I think Professor Wen Tiejun is the honorary villager of the village, and they led the uh, old villagers to uh, create a win-win situation and uh, to alleviate poverty and uh, increase income. And the uh, new villagers accounted for about 20% of uh, the uh, total rural community. And uh, currently many old villagers have come back from the uh, urban area and also the new villagers joined the uh, village. And uh, we need to make full use of the advantages of the uh, rural development and to meet their demands in order to get them engaged into the bamboo industry and they could unite unite each other to promote the quality development of bamboo industry and this is my presentation thank you very much for the listening for your listening just now mr li introduced the uh, bamboo shoot resources, the uh, distribution, the research, and uh, the uh, development and utilization in different regions. And uh, also he proposed the uh, suggestions for the uh, future development. As we know, the bamboo industry is uh, gradually transferred to the Western part where the uh, local people could enjoy the uh, preferential policies for the bamboo shoot cultivation and bamboo industry development. Thank you very much, Mr. Lin, Mr. Lee. And uh, next speaker is uh, Mr. Ye Xiaoping, the CEO of Hangzhou Hanfu, Hanfu Hand Food Corporation Limited. And uh, he is the uh, expert in the uh, bamboo shoot processing technology, he has been working in this field for many years and uh, he obtained two patents and two practical application patents. And uh, in the past decades, he worked in this field and accumulated very rich experience today. He would share with us the comparison of processing method of small diameter bamboo and development of new products. I'm Ye Xiaoping, manager of uh, Hangzhou Fu Yang Hangfu Canned Foods Corporation Limited. And uh, this company is uh, working in this industry for four decades. And for me, myself, I have been working in this field for two decades. And uh, I would like to share with you the lessons and experiences in the processing of small diameter bamboo and the development of new products. And uh, at the right, I would like to summarize the, uh, the experiences and the conclusions, but I, sorry, I don't have the uh, theoretical background. And the small diameter bamboo is uh, uh, lies in its uh, processing value, and it can uh, 
increased the uh, low income groups and uh, made great contribution to poverty alleviation. And it meets the uh, big food view of uh, asking food from a forest. It provides us with a very healthy ingredient and food. And currently, and the freezing, drying, press drying, press drying, boiling drying, and rehydration, rehydration are the main methods. And the second is boiling in water and the salinization are also the uh, important method in processing sulfur fumigation is another one. And first, I would like to focus on freezing. It is a very simple process, but the uh, investment is high. The uh, characteristics of this process is to uh, say very short time consumption, but it preserves the natural flavor of a bamboo shoot. In Zhejiang, Anhui, we usually choose this method to process the shoot and lay bamboo shoot are processed in this way in this area and the products are sold to Shandong, Zhejiang and the restaurants mainly. The processing cost is relatively low and the cost per ton is about 1,500 RMB, but the uh, price is uh, 15,000 or 16,000 RMB. And uh, currently I would say the uh, products are usually short supplied on the market. And the second method is dried shoot. The process, I would not elaborate on it. Uh, there are very much many dried bamboo products on the market. And the uh, characteristic of this process is uh, that it can produce the uh, very delicious ingredient, but it is not so convenient for the processing. We need to wash them and dry them and uh, if before cooking, and also we need to uh, uh, sit them in water again. So, and uh, then we are going to talk about the uh, rewatering of uh, the rehydration, rehydration of the uh, dried bamboo shoot, and uh, the products in the picture. Are the are from our company that is rehydrated bamboo shoots are sliced by machine and cooked, sterilized at high temperature and pressure, and then provided to restaurants, hotels, and consumers. These products are made by Hangfu. Also, some factories in Zhejiang and Hunan, Jiangxi, and Fujian produce such kind of uh, products. And the development of the uh, the prospect of the products is promising. And these are very convenient ingredients. And also, they they are taste to satisfy. The uh, people's appetite. And uh, the uh, third processing method is uh, boiling water. And uh, actually, the uh, lactic acid is used for fermentation in order to preserve the original flavor and uh, enable the very long shelf life. 
and also the convenience in the secondary uh, cooking. I would say this uh, process has been introduced into China for 100 years. And uh, also this method used for the small diameter bamboo shoot has uh, say a history of uh, 40 years. So we usually open the can and for the secondary processing and the lay bamboo shoot and uh, the uh, say square bamboo shoot are very popular on the market. Also, they are welcomed by Taiwan and Japanese people. And of course, in China, usually the uh, hotels and restaurants also prefer these products. They are catering industry. And like the uh, say hot pot chains use the uh, water boiled bamboo shoot in South Western China. And uh, this process, they, this uh, say the uh, bamboo shoots processing in this way are very, very popular. The uh, small diameter bamboo shoot can be recooked again. And I will not elaborate on the process, but I would say the uh, three products are reprocessed in factory. They are very convenient for cooking at home. And uh, so here, I would like to focus on a product of the water boiled type. And the hand peeled bamboo shoots are very popular and welcomed by the hotels and restaurants. And usually for the northern Chinese people, they really like this hand peeled bamboo shoot. So this demand resulted in the uh, large investment into the uh, production of the uh, product of the finished product and our annual production will reach about 20,000 tons. The main market is a south a north Eastern China, the uh, central China, uh, northern China, and also the processors could benefit economically from the production. Last year, almost all the factories even couldn't get access to raw materials. And because actually, because of their high demand, for example, the Fong bamboo shoot, etc. And uh, from the border between China and Myanmar to Hunan, Hubei, and Yunnan, Guizhou, those factories were trying to buy the raw materials and uh, the finished products through online sales really impressed the whole industry with the very high demand or say very high sales amount. And uh, another process is uh, salination, salinization. This is also a very simple process. They products mainly came from Sichuan 
and Zhejiang, the characteristics of this stylized bamboo shoot is a high demand but low production because the consumers don't like salty food. So in order to preserve the flavor and they need to add some additives. So I would say usually these products, these kind of products, and though the uh, investment is very low in production are not so popular among consumers because of the uh, high salt content. This is a product that is to say the uh, sulfur fumigation is widely used in southern part in Alpine area. The raw materials grow on high altitude areas. So actually the harvest is not so convenient for local people. They have to stay on the top of the mountain for 20 days. And also I think the environment and living conditions on top of the mountains are really harsh. And also some accidents or say the unexpected accidents often happen. And uh, the bamboo shoots after harvesting are processed on top, on, on mountain top. And the uh, sulfur fumigated products will be uh, packed into bags. And also into the cell, and they will meet, uh, put some uh, salt or some of uh, the other chemicals, and then to seal this uh, cell and uh, pressed. And then for the second production, it's like open, reopen the cell. And uh, that is for like uh, half finished uh, products. You see for this uh, plastic uh, barrel, that is uh, sell, sell this to for those, uh, the companies like mine and uh, to complete the products eventually. So for complete products, we are gonna have, uh, I won't elaborate it. You can see those kind of finished products that you can buy from any supermarket. And we also sell to uh, some Japanese products and to the uh, 7-Eleven, those kind of the su uh, Japanese market, supermarket. And uh, Japanese customers also like this products very much and looks good. It's very even from the lens, from the uh, diameters. And also you see the, the, uh, the hole actually is very small. So this uh, bamboo, if you can put it the stand, Standing is uh, can be uh, put uh, in uh, vertical standing. If you put into the water, actually, uh, this can standing quite well, not floating on the waters. So this is a, a very good product. And for this, uh, the products, uh, the self, uh, the uh, fumigation, uh, we have two kinds of these products. Uh, after this, uh, the processing, we're gonna have some uh, the uh, tasting uh, the 
adjusting. We can sell this product to some like uh, leisure, the food, the uh, the shops, and quite popular in those office workers. Uh, we have a yuan. Each year, their revenue can reach a hundred million and renminbi seven eight years ago. I think this product we sell is no lower than five hundred million renminbi in total. Uh, I'm gonna introduce this after self fumigation. This materials, raw materials, for this kind of the bamboo shoes. You see, it's not the paled well. It's more kind of like、uh, green. After the、uh, sinking in the water, on the left that is、uh, on the mountain, on the right. Is after the half, ah,、uh, the、uh, processing processed. Ah,、uh, the color show that we called the green rod. The color can still maintain this. Ah,、uh, we borrowed some experience from Japanese peers, like when they bought some in the、uh, northeast、uh, for those the cabbage. Or some other provincials after the salt marsh, and、uh, the color is not well. But、uh, Japanese technique, they can by the aid some tech technologies, can get the beautiful color back with some additive. Um. We got like four hundred RMB per kilo. Bought from them, we got the inspiration from this idea, and we bring this, use this、uh, the technique, to get the picture, beautiful picture of these products, and also for the additives, they just give me a nickname. Um.、Mm. We called this additive for Zhejiang University have some analysis on these contents. For this additive, it actually is a a nutritious ah、uh, the solutions. So right now. Or raw materials actually is very popular.、Mm. The whole industry, uh, to fight for these products because it's very popular. Last、uh, topic I want to talk about is uh for the bottleneck for this uh the small, um. Bamboo shoes processing, and because we don't have the uh very convenient transportation conditions, for South West、uh, West actually uh with the the limited the、uh, infrastructure, and second is、uh, efficient is not high because is a、uh, hand peeled the uh bamboo shoes, the efficient is quite low. So we have some uh, the uh, prospect. We give a some、uh, outlook. We can develop some、uh, pre-made food, like for those、uh, bamboo shoes,、uh, dry bamboo shoes with the meat, or with some soy sauce of、uh, the fried the、uh, bamboo shoes, etc. Or for some very popular、um, hand peeled. The bamboo shoes, and、uh, secondly, we need to have some more upgrading for the transformation for the technique. 
and uh, to reduce the, some of uh, the uh, traditional unhealthy and safe way for processing. Mm. Mm. Now I'm just uh, stop here. Mm. Thanks for your attention. So Mr. Ye uh, gave the uh, small bamboo shoes uh, the processing way and the outlook. And Mr. Ye's company is, is the leaders in those uh, bamboo shoes, uh, the processing. If you have interest uh, uh, on their products, you can have some uh, communication uh, offline. So we just uh, call off this session. We have uh, five experts and to have uh, the uh, excellent the discussion regarding on the medium and small size bamboo shoes industry. And thanks again for all five of uh, the experts. And uh, we will continue our work on those uh, bamboo industries and contribute all parts for the bamboo shoes industry. Now I'm just announced that this session is concluded. Thank you. Mm -hmm.